This is a topical anesthetic soaked gauze, which I'm going to use to apply topical anesthetic at the side where I'm going to give LA. Move on. Okay. Now I'm just pressing from the side, so I don't get scared. Okay. So you just have to remember a few things where you want to insert the needle in PSA. So at the depth of mucobuccal fold at the apex of second molar. So this is the second molar. Depth of the mucobuccal fold is this. So I'm going to apply the pressure with the topical soaked gauze like this. I'm going to keep a firm pressure. आपको थोड़ा सा दबाव समझ आएगा. रुई से दबा रहा हूँ तो घबराना नहीं. हाँ? ठीक है? हम्म. ठीक है, ठीक है. So as always, I'm applying a little pressure also along with the topical so as to achieve pressure anesthesia along with the topical anesthesia. That leads to a profound topical anesthesia. Okay. So if I remove this, you can see there is some blanching. Now for PSA, you just need to remember two things. One, the needle insertion, it has to be again at the depth of the mucobuccal fold. This is the mucobuccal fold. At the depth of the mucobuccal fold, at the apex of second molar. This is the second molar. So here you are going to insert the needle. Okay, and the angulation should be 45 degrees upward, inward, backward to the occlusion. So you can see this is 45 degrees to the occlusion. Okay. So now I'm going to give the LA. Put on. Move on. Yeah. So the depth of insertion is 16 mm, and the LA to be deposited. Sans chodiye. LA to be deposited is the amount is 1 to 1.5 mL in a normal average adult individual. Now, depending on the skull size, you'll have to reduce or increase the amount of LA to be deposited. Now, you can see the needle is at 45 degrees to the occlusal plane. Okay. Sans lete rahi. Gehri sans. Dheera se chodi hai. Suction kar. For a proper greater palatine nerve block, you just need to remember a few things again. The greater palatine foramen, you should locate the greater palatine foramen using the back of the uh, mouth mirror at the junction of the alveolar process and the palatine bone. This is the junction of the alveolar bone and the palatine bone. So you're going to just palpate and go back. You'll feel a depression. You can see I felt a depression here. This depression is usually between the uh, second and third molar. So you can see this is the second molar. This is the third molar. Between these two, I can feel the depression of the greater palatine foramen. Okay. And again, just remember the foramen is located at the junction of the alveolar bone and palatine bone. This is the uh, greater palatine foramen. Okay. I'm going to apply the topical soaked gauze at the greater palatine foramen. I am going to apply the topical soaked gauze at the greater palatine foramen. So you are supposed to mukhalo bada. You are supposed to approach the greater palatine foramen from the opposing side, this side. Okay, and the needle, the bevel should be towards the bone. A gari saans lo. Bas hold this. Now I'm going to aspirate. The aspiration is negative. Biplanar aspiration again negative. Ab saans chodiye. Mukhalo bada. हल्का सा दबाव समझ आएगा। So the amount of LA to be deposited in this greater palatine is 4.4 to 0.6 in a normal individual, and this is more than enough. You can see the bulging of the soft tissue and slight blanching. Give me the suction. Another important thing to note, which is not given in the textbook, is when we when I withdraw the needle, there will be a drop of LA that will come out. Make sure you suction it so that the patient doesn't have to taste the LA. The taste of this uh, local anesthesia is very bitter. So the patient might have gag, gag reflexes. Move on. So to avoid any gag reflex, we suction the LA solution. We try to Make sure that the patient doesn't have to taste the LA solution. 
Okay, so I'm going to check for the symptoms of a successful nerve block PSA and greater palatine. Okay, so I'm going to show the patient first what actual pain is. Mukolia, ye halka sa chubega, gavrana niye, halka sa dabao samajega, hilna niye ha. Ye chubra hai, ha na? ठीक है, so now that the patient knows what actual pain is, the patient will be able to differentiate between the pain and pressure. थोड़ा सा मोबन करो. मुझे बताइए ये चुभ रहा है? हम्म, नहीं चुभ रहा? Okay, so I have given the LA for the extraction of this tooth. Buccal erupting carious one eight, carious third molar, maxillary right third molar. मुख खोलिए. Now for the palatal, again I'll check. यहाँ चुभ रहा है? Okay, so you can see the patient doesn't have any pain on instrumentation. कोई तकलीफ नहीं? बहुत बढ़िया. ठीक है अभी आपको ये समझ आएगा मैं थोड़ा दबा रहा हूँ ये समझ आएगा आपको आपको मैंने बेहोश नहीं किया है ना तो आपको समझ आएगा इतना हिस्सा ही मैंने सिर्फ सुन किया है बट बाकी पूरा हिस्सा नॉर्मल है तो यहाँ पे मैं जोर भी लगाऊंगा तो आपको समझ आएगा मैं कुछ काम कर रहा हूँ बट दर्द नहीं होगा ठीक है चलिए 